Bonjour, es ist Montag, ich heiße Haley und hier ist das Armageddon Report. Right, so here's what's going on today in the world of severe weather. Right, we've got 15% chance of winds, 30% chance of hail in some areas, and significant chance of hail on top of that, 5% chance of a tornado, and then we'll talk about the long ranges. Right now, though, no measure scale discussions, no watches, no warning, so that's good, yeah. So, wind, we've got the 15%, so there's your two slight risk areas, and then the 5% probability area, branching them together. Here's your hail risk map, where the red area is where there's the greatest threat of hail, and then the black hatched area is where there is, it's more likely that there will be significant hail. So that'd be two inches larger as opposed to just a one inch larger chance everywhere else. Tornado chance as high as 5% over here, 2% there, so if you're not familiar with the numbers, say this every single day, pick a random point, and that means that there's a 5% chance that any random point that you pick in the 5% area will see a tornado, or that someone within 25 miles of them will see a tornado. Tomorrow, big-ish, slight risk area, sort of big, that only covers a whole bunch of states, doesn't it? And then, if you look at the severe weather probability maps, and count all the 5% areas, it covers a huge amount of states. So again, we've got as high as a 30%, and then the black hatched area indicates significant severe weather events. It's just day two, they don't spell out what sort, but it looks like, again, it's probably gonna be significant hail. Is that what they're expecting? Day three drops the significant risk, but we do have this slight risk, slash 15, because slight correlates to 15%. And if we go over here, moderate corresponds to 45, high corresponds to 60. There, drop some knowledge on you or whatever. 15%, then a 5%, again, covering quite a few states. Going on like that. Day four through eight, predictability too low. So it's, it's said that all the time, well, not all the time, what was originally the day five threat, and I think it was basically about this area, is now the day three threat, threat and is back on the map. But they dropped it, it was a day four, whatever. But. So predictability to low means there is some severe weather, potential, it's forecasted, but there's not enough agreement yet for the storm prediction setter to actually designate an area on the map. So, but here's what's going on today. So. Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, what do we got? Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, maybe New York, West Virginia, Kentucky, maybe it's Mitchell, Virginia, don't know. You should totally pay attention, of course. WikiWix is W I C K E D W X. And there's weather.gov, there's Stop Prediction Center, there's, you know, your friends, if they're weather savvy, can call you up and say, hey, did you know there's a tornado outside your door? You should probably get to your basement if you have one. If not, you know, interior room, etc., etc. Don't hide under an overpass. It's just going to blow you out of there. And then you'll wish you'd just been in a ditch or something. Anyway, so hopefully there won't be a need for you to be on the road and have to take shelter anyway. But, you know, so stay safe out there today and enjoy the rest of your week.